They say this is a big rich town I just come from the poet's part Bright light city life, I gotta make it This is where it goes down I just happen to come up hard I never took a straight path nowhere Life's full of twists and turns Bumps and bruises I live, I learn I'm from that city full of yellow cabs and skyscrapers It's hard to get a start in these parts without pay Hello everybody, it's your boy King Ivo 002 Coming to with a video This video today is going to be about 9-11 as you know Today is 9-11 And I'm going to take us back man On that painful Day. First, before I get started, I would like to ask for everybody to smash the like button first. You know, smash it up, share it out, tweet it out, do what you gotta do. Help me out, man. Now, today is Wednesday, also, so I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna drop a motivation Wednesday after I do this. So, be looking for two videos today. Now, looking back on this painful tragedy on 9-11, um, I was in middle school, we was going to lunch. Well, we, uh, Matter of fact, we were supposed to be doing, yeah, we were, going, we were leaving lunch, and we heard a big boom sound. Now, we didn't know what it was, but the teachers and stuff and parents and stuff called, started calling, and um, it was like, oh, it was a terrorist attack. A plane ran into a Pentagon. And the other one uh, hit the uh, Twin Towers in New York. So all the parents were going crazy. Called us up to school, come to get their kids. Some of us, we walked home. We were like, look, we leaving. We gone. Oh, we were a loud boom. Like it was close enough to it, feel like it was like right there in front of us. But it was like, we could, like, like from the my na my old neighborhood on the back of the hill, you can see the uh the smoke and stuff. Like from a distance, but you can see it on top of the hill. What? If you look down from the back hill. So all those kids come to school and we looking and it's just like dark smoke was rising up. And on that day it was some brave, brave folks. Who tried to save a lot of lives, who also killed themselves or injured themselves. And also the ones who didn't get a chance to even attempt to get out safely. The people who just died immediately. I feel sorry for all them folks. And their family too, also. That was a hard day for a lot of people. Because they didn't get to see their family come home. That was the last day they see them in the morning. And they went out to work or went to school or to daycare or whatever. Kids and everything was there. That's a bad thing. Trey saying, boy, hit that thing from the top, like like middle. So people up, up at the top of the joint, they had no chance at all. It was done. People jumping on windows, like, look. Hey, might as well. We weren't getting downstairs. And that's a long jump. But then they forget it. I risk my life. Well, what'd you do? Big, big, big old plane coming right towards you. None of the people's like, probably just in shock. They didn't move. They was like, is that a plane? I know the plane was getting lower and lower. Came smacking through the drink. Big old fireball coming down the hallway. Torching people. People who was on the elevator was safe. The drink closed. 
they were safe inside the elevator because the fire didn't get to them. People who was under lower, some of them got out. Some of them was trapped with stuff that was falling from the plane, the building. They was under there. Some people was hurt. Some people didn't make it. Some people got got away. Some people didn't. It was a long, long, long day for a lot of people, including us, including us who was affected by it. Because even though we were near, this is our, you know, our, our uh, country, and it made everybody upset about that. Like, really? Come on, Bellar. But he only do this because he ain't like Bush. He like he, it wasn't against the Americans or the blacks. He just didn't like Bush. Bush made all that shit, uh, excuse my language, Bush made all that stuff happen, and actually, he was actually coming for Bush, but he found out Bush was gone, so he turned the, he had to turn the plane around, and run into the Pentagon, so, you know, White House got some underground stuff, so, you know, he was already out of there, thanks to him. Tragic day. I actually had a, um, I actually had a cousin that was there at the um, the Pentagon, and I had a, a niece. Well, I mean, I had a little cousin who was actually there for daycare. They got out safely. Thank God for that. If we go back and look. One of my cousins, she was running across the bridge to go get my little, her little niece from daycare. She was a black girl, black lady, kicking across the bridge. That was her. I know everybody probably saw it on the news. Black lady with the shoes off. That's my cousin. Kicking across the bridge to go get her uh, niece from out of daycare. That guy used to live around my neighborhood, he, he ain't go in today. So he said he, he was feeling good, so he stayed home. So he ain't, he wasn't in it. But my cousin, thank the God, they, they got out safely and got home safe too to our family. I was like, dang. Damn. They had to rebuild. I know the old world ain't building a trade center. That was too big. But they did rebuild the Pentagon. Looks nice. And also, you can never forget this 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 month or every time it come around. It's some some feel some type of way about this, cause imagine people who gotta go through this thing every year. People probably hate nine eleven. I know they probably do. But some good and good out of all of that. Your boy Ben Barack Obama. Barack Obama caught them guys. Thanks to him. My man came through. Got the uh the uh Navy SEALs come through. Put a bullet in his head. Goodbye. And um, rest in peace to all them wonderful people. All the millions of people who died on this day. 
So you rest in paradise. Send prayers up to your family, friends, neighbors, co-workers. And just say, thank you all for trying to help out those wonderful folks. Like also injuring or killing yourself. Thank you. Anyway, that's gonna be it to conclude my video. I just wanna come home and come on and just say a few words. You know, you can comment below. You know, put your input in. I'll reply to it. I always will. You know, don't forget to smash it up too. Share it out, tweet it out. We all family in here. Do your thing. But also, before I go. I want to say, it's positivity, y'all. You know, good vibes only. No negative vibes, man. At all. No way. You feel me? And guess what? Pop, pop. Drop bombs on them. Boom, boom. You feel me? It's your boy King. Gang, gang. And I'm Audi. Too sweet. Catch y'all later, man. On my next video, Motivation Wednesday, coming up after I drop this. So stay tuned for both of them tonight. They say this is a big, rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light, city life, I gotta make it. This is where it goes down. I just happen to come up hard. I never took a straight path